Hi, welcome to Katia with our video tutorial. In Katia, as in all the other CAD programs, sketches should always be fully constrained. In Katia, it's called ISO constraint. But sometimes it's very hard to tell why a sketch is ISO constrained or over constrained. And therefore, it's very useful to have a tool which allows you to analyze a sketch. And in Katia, we have one. The sketch solving status is just uh, overview, but there's also that sketch analysis tool. So let's have fun with Katia V5. There are usually two problems with sketches. One problem would be to get the sketch fully constrained. In Katia it's called ISO constraint. The other problem would be such a sketch should work with a feature. And these are two different things. A fully constrained sketch might not work with a feature. And a sketch with which, which uh, works with a feature might not be fully constrained. So, for example, if I want to make an extrude with this sketch, there are some odd points right here, strange, and if I select the extrude feature, it doesn't work. So, cancel this out, go into the sketch and use our sketch analysis tool. There's a short one right here, which shows that sketch is under constraint. As I've already told you, that is not important for a feature to work, but a sketch should be fully constrained. And still those three points. Let's go to the real sketch analysis. I got a window with three tabs. Now I could sort this by status the other way around and I got those three points right here and now I could delete them. But it might be useful to take a look at the other tabs. So let's go for geometry. I got a line right here which is isolated and an implicit profile which is closed. So you should always have one profile which is closed in your sketch. That would be this one. Great. If I go for that line that's isolated, now I could delete it. I could set it for construction. Then the sketch would work but I can delete it. Then the sketch will work as well. And for that point, how to select it, go for diagnostic, select that point, which should be here under constraint, and again delete it. Now for the third tab. The third tab is useful if you want to use your sketch on a different plane with a different angle and you use some sort of symmetry in that sketch. Usually, usually those symmetry elements cause problems or those implicit projections. What is an implicit projection? Simple. I've constrained that line to that axis and that's 3D geometry. So the program projected that axis into my sketch plane and made a coincidence on that projection. This one. See? Coincidence and reference element. Okay. Same goes for the other one. It projected that axis into my sketch. And now I could Hide construction elements as before, hide constraints. I could replace the 3D geometry with something else. I could delete it. I could deactivate it. And I could even isolate the geometry. So with these three tabs, I could easily analyze my complete sketch, look for under constraints elements, look for isolated elements and 
with those options here down below, I could easily fix any problems. So that's a very useful tool for sketches in KTP5. And I'm done. Hope you enjoyed this short one. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. I want to get more subscription, subscriptions and likes over there as well. Now that sketch should work. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.